everyone, I'm Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna do something a little different. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, but I just really never got uh, around to doing it. But I'm going to start a monthly series and that is my favorites and fails of the month. So this will be the favorites and fails of May 2021 since I'm filming this on June 1st. But um, you know, I've been wanting to do this. There's always products that I receive or products that I buy that I either like or don't like. And I like giving reviews on them. And I've seen other YouTubers or content creators doing videos like this. So I thought I should start one myself. And that is what I'm doing. And I actually am starting to get PR products, not a lot, but I am starting to get a little bit of PR products. So I definitely want to take the opportunity to, to review them and give my honest feedback on those products. So if you're interested in learning about my top 10, actually it's going to be 11, favorites and fails of May 2021, just stay tuned. So like I said, I'm going to aim to do 10 products a month. Um, I actually had a list of 10 and then I added one at the last minute. So I'm going to have 11 and the products are going to cover everything. It's going to be skincare, makeup, um, if it's maybe travel related, if I'm traveling, there might be something travel related that I find. Um, so it's really going to be kind of you know anything that could cover just something that I tried or used up in that previous month. So starting with number 11, and I'm going to rank them, but pretty much these are, the first couple ones are going to be the fails, and then there's a kind of a like category but didn't love, and then there's going to be the favorites category. But I did rank them, so I did put my number one at number one. It's a little hard when you get to the favorites, um, the fails were a little easier. So with number 11 is this seventh generation um, natural deodorant. It's awful. Um, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, I actually got it at TJ Maxx. I think I paid like $3.99, probably, you know, shouldn't have bought it there. But um, I do use natural deodorant. I've tried a couple. Uh, I'm planning on probably doing a natural re deodorant review and what are my favorites and fails of natural deodorants but um, this one I bought and it is just so bad it actually smells nice but it does nothing it absolutely does nothing uh, I keep it in my car just as a backup in case I happen to forget which has happened but again it still does nothing so I was really not doing anything but um, if you're interested in trying a natural deodorant don't get this one Okay, so for my number 10, this was a product I did receive in PR through Influencer, and it is the Benefit Their Real Magnet Extreme Lengthening Mascara. Um, I actually loved it when I first got it. I put it on, it really does make my lashes super long. The only problem is it smudges. And I didn't realize, I heard other people review it and said that it kept smudging and they would have black lines under their eyes and I didn't even notice. And then probably two weeks after using it, it started happening to me. And it was really prevalent in one video where I was actually filming like five videos one day. It's usually what I do is I'll film a couple videos for about two weeks and I noticed that I had a black smudge from the mascara right here in pretty much every single video. So if you look back and you see like, what's that on your face? That's this mascara. So um, it does work as far as lengthening and gives you great length on my lashes, except it smudges and I've heard it smudges on a lot of other people. So I don't really have mascara smudge on me. So the fact that this one does, it's probably not good. Okay, so this is number nine, and this is the last one of the fails. So I actually had a lot of favorites this month. So this is the last of the fails, and this one was a huge disappointment. It is something that I tried. I had given myself three months to try, and I actually gave my, and I ended up giving myself six months because I was just like, no, this stuff has to work. And it is the Halo Beauty, um, the booster, the, I guess, hair, skin, and nails booster, and then I also took the body and brain booster. Um, I subscribed, I really, and where I was really trying to see if it was going to work was my nails. And as you can see, my nails are really short. I have really brittle, they peel, they crack, just horrible nails. So I thought, and I had read some reviews that people were like, I don't know about my hair, but my nails are growing. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna give it at least three months, knowing that you have to really give it some a chance 
and I really didn't see anything so I just continued on and I gave it a full six months and no difference um, yeah I now is my hair better I don't know um, I my hair grows pretty fast anyway my face I'll show you some other products I was using so I don't really see any you know dramatic differences in that however I think if it was going to really work I would have shown up in my nails and it didn't so this is the most disappointing fail for me so now we're moving into the like category and this is a product I did receive in PR and it is the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. Um, I, like I said, I did receive it in PR. It does run for $29 and I do like it. The problem is I received a shade that just doesn't, isn't my shade. I got 220C. It's very pink or peachy. Um, I tend to be on the cool tone, but more cool neutral. And this is a little too cool for me. And it's also a little too dark. I definitely can make this work when I'm tan, but then when I'm tan, my, my face tends to be warmer. So I do have to mix it with another foundation. However, when I use it up just on itself, even though it's the wrong shade, I do like the coverage. I am looking maybe to pick this up in my own shade because it is a nice coverage. It's a um, light to medium coverage. I do tend to prefer more full um, and if I go light I go really light so I kind of there's I'm not an in-between type of person but I do like it if you do like light to medium coverage I think you'll like this foundation it did last pretty well on me um, and you can definitely sheer it out and you can build it up so I did like that on it so I like the foundation I don't love it but it is a very good foundation okay so number seven is another foundation and it is the what I am wearing today and I like it, I definitely like it more than the Rare Beauty. It is a full coverage, and the only reason why I don't love it is because it doesn't last. It looks amazing on for a good two hours, and then it starts to peek through, and that is the KVD Beauty um, Good Apple Balm Foundation. I am in the shade Light 018. It's a great match for me. It's actually a little light right now because I have um, fake tanned right now. So it's a little light for me, but I can still make it work. But I love this foundation when I'm filming. This is a foundation I, I kind of feel like this is what I'm going to be using a lot when I film. I love it. However, if I'm going out, this is not what I'm going to wear. It's going to peek through. I am making it work by using the Farsali liquid powder um, primer. So I put that on my T-zone, which does make it last longer. But again, I would not use this um, going out uh, just because I have combination, you know, normal to just pretty much normal combination skin. So I think if you had dry skin, this would probably be great for you. If you have oily skin, I would say forget about it. The coverage is beautiful. Like I love the way my face looks when I'm on camera with this foundation. It's just, unfortunately it doesn't last, you know, it's not gonna last me a night out. So it's a good, it's a, it's a good foundation um, for like short periods of time. So now we're moving into my favorites category. And this one is, um, this one was hard. So they're ranked, but there's no clear winner in this group. Um, maybe number one is maybe up there, but there's no real big difference in this, but they're all favorites. They're all ones that I love. And number six is the Nakia Joy Velvet Finishing Powder. I heard about this. Nakia Joy is a YouTuber. And if you're watching this, you probably know who she is. Um, she's from Australia. She's got, a small makeup line. It's Nakia Joy Cosmetics, um, small makeup line, some pigments, some brushes. She's got great lashes, and then she has this powder, and people had said this powder is awesome. Um, so I finally just, she had a sale, I finally caved, ordered it, ordered some lashes. The lashes are phenomenal too, but this powder is great. And one, it smells amazing. I don't, I don't know what it smells like. It smells like, I don't know, but it smells amazing. And um, but it just gives, it really gives a velvet finish. I don't find it gives you a powdery finish. Um, it's just beautiful, especially for someone. I turn 45 next month. So this is a powder. Um, I really like it. And if you're thinking about, if you have trouble with powder looking cakey, this is one that you might want to try. 
Okay, so number four is the Obagi Professional C Serum in 20%. So um, I've been using Obagi. If you've seen my video on my Halo um, laser treatment, my doctor, Dr. Everly in Weston, um, he put me on Obagi and uh, I love the products. I was on the New Derm Percept uh, RX for a while and I got the this Professional C Serum. This is fantastic. I am actually out. So this is one that I've been using for a while, but I emptied, so this is considered an empty for this month. I need to get more. I do have some serums that I've received in some kits or you know, Ipsy or whatever, and I'm using those up, so I'm trying to use those. They have vitamin C before I get this. This runs $133. You can get it on sale, um, but it, it is expensive. However, my face definitely looked brighter and just healthier. I am using some serums right now. They're definitely not as intense. This is professional. It's it's a difference. So I may cave and buy this sooner rather than later because it is such a difference. I love it. It's fantastic. And um, yeah, highly recommend. Okay, and considering on with skincare, as I mentioned, I was doing the Obagi New Derm for a long time. And I took a break from the hydroquinone and uh, was still using retinol and I had heard about, you know, you kind of get those ads. So I'd heard about Muesli and I decided to try it. So Muesli is basically, you do a teledoc uh, consultation with a doctor and talk to them about what your issues are, what you're looking to do, and they will prescribe whatever it is you're looking for. So I did have some spots. So I actually did it all. So I did the whole thing. Um, the first one I did was the spot cream. So I did have a couple sunspots that had come after the halo. I had stopped the hydroquinone in. I probably wasn't as diligent on my SPF as I should have been. I am now. And I, so I did have some spots. So I did use the spot cream. This is now done and I'm not, I, I don't have any spots and I've been using my, my SPF. So I haven't been using this so I'm done with this, but this was the first thing that I used. The next step was the um, the night cream, and this comes in with also a SPF moisturizer. I have finished that, and I do have some other SPF moisturizers that I prefer. That one was very heavy, definitely was very left a white cast. So I do, I am trying to try some um, SPFs that don't leave a white cast that are clear. So, but this is the Tretinoin. I am. Um, I'm up there. I can't see which this is, but I am I'm high up there because I can I can handle it. My skin can handle it. So um, like I said, I turned 45. I, I want I want I want the whole shebang. So this is the night cream. I'm just about to finish this up. My other one came in on Saturday. It is a automatic delivery. You can choose not to, but it is an automatic delivery if you want to. So this I highly recommend. And then the third one I did is the neck cream. And there's two choices with the neck. You can, if you're more worried about wrinkles or you're more worried about sunspots. So I'm actually worried about both. I do have some wrinkles here, but I did have some sunspots and I noticed it when we went to the Riviera. When we went to the Riviera um, back in June of 2020, I was in the swimsuit and I noticed the spots on my chest. Like I noticed the spots on my chest didn't match my face. I had a lot of sunspots on my chest and so that was really when I started using the muesli. And this is my second bottle of the of the neck cream. It has totally, um, let's see if you can see, it's just so much more clearer. That had one big spot right here that is gone. So I still have some, you know, freckles and stuff, but the major sunspots are gone. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'm probably going to switch over to the one that focuses more on wrinkles. Um, but Again, if you're older, you know, you don't want to be one of those women that have like a nice clear face and then you can tell your age on your neck and your chest. So that's where this comes in. So Muesli, um, I'll link, leave a link below for, for Muesli, but I highly, highly recommend this. Okay, so number three is right behind me. And um, let's see if I can pick it up here. It is lit and it is my Spire Side Candle. And I added this, I put it as, as you can see, I'm working on a new set, um, working on trying to kind of have a space dedicated to filming that's not in my living room or my dining room. Um, so I just added the candle at the last minute and I love these candles. If this is um, Clover Fields, so if you love Disney scents, 
When you go into um, Grand Floridian or Beach Club, this is the scent. So it's Clover Fields. Um, there's a couple companies that do candles based on the Disney scents. Uh, I've used a lot of them. I just really love Spireside. I've really just enjoyed what they offer. They also have, also have a room spray, which I do use that as well. But um, Clover Fields is my go-to, so you will probably see it in times in videos. I'm going to start trying some other scents, but um, if you are looking for a Disney scented candle, you love that scent from Grand Floridian. They also, like I said, they have a lot of other scents too, but I highly recommend Clover Fields. Okay, next up, number two for the month of May is something I did receive in PR and I love it. And I have tried so many purple shampoos and it is the brand new Amica Bust Your Brass collection. So you have a shampoo, a cool blonde repair conditioner, and the hair mask. I've used them all, they're amazing. Um, I obviously I have blonde hair I have highlights and I've used them all I just finished a keratin color one it's good uh, I've used a couple that I don't like I don't like the Clariel I um, is it the Clairol I got that one in PR as well hated it ended up throwing it in the trash um, this stuff one it smells amazing it has the ingredients that I like. I think they had this before and this is the new formula. I never tried the original formula, but I love it. What I tend to do is I tend to switch. Um, I tend to not use it every time. So I'll use this one time. I'll use the shampoo and conditioner together. And then the next time I wash my hair, I'll wash my hair with a different shampoo. And then I'll use this as a treatment. So um, Amika, bust your brass. Love it if you're blonde and you wanna get rid of that brassiness and you wanna get that cool color, this is great. And the one thing I like about this mask is it's only three to five minutes. Usually with the hair mask, you need like 10, 15, 20 minutes to leave it on your hair. This one's three to five minutes, which is doable. The 15 to 20 minute ones, um, the one from Jacqueline Pro Frost, I still love that one. I talked about that one back last year sometime. I still love that one, but that's a good 15 to 20 minute treatment. Works great, but you do have to dedicate that time. This one's three to five minutes um, and I love it and it leaves my hair silky, silky soft. I used it today, I love it. Um, if you're blonde, highly recommend. Also for the Amica Buster Brass, the shampoo runs $20, the conditioner is $24, and the treatment is $42. It's sold at Sephora, um, also on their website as well. And like I did, I, I like I said, I did receive that in PR through Octoly and um, purpose of giving a review, but not I didn't have to necessarily give a good review, but I do love it. Um, and with that, we are at number one, and it is the Fenty Beauty, what is it called? Ease Drop Blurring Face Skin Tint. Um, runs $29.50, it is one fluid ounce. I got the color, the shade seven, because it was pretty much all I could get on my hands on because it's sold out everywhere. And what I'm seeing with this is that people either love it or they hate it. And I am in the camp that I love it. And one of the reasons why I love it is it gave me a beautiful finish on my face. And I always feel like I need to set my face with powder. This is something that's set on its own. Like you put it on and I didn't put anything on and it, my face looked amazing. I didn't feel, it dried down. It was just gorgeous. It gave me a beautiful feel. Now I haven't tested long, longevity yet. Um, I've only worn it a couple times and those times I've worn it for maybe like four, I think six hours was the longest and it still looked good. But when I'm wearing a skin tint, I'm not, go, I'm not wearing this on camera. I'm not wearing this out. I'm wearing this just to have something where, you know, make my face look, you know, nice and clear, but I'm not looking to go out. Like that I'm going to wear more of a heavy duty foundation, that's just me. But, so I haven't tested longevity, but it's not something that I would use for a long lasting. But I have worn it, like I said, I think it was six hours the first time I wore it and it still looked pretty good. So, but I love it. I'm surprised how much I loved it because I'm not a skin tint type of girl, but this is, this stuff's really good. So that's it. Those are my favorites and fails for May 2021. 
Um, hope, let me know how you like this series, if you like it. Um, if there's anything you want me to review or um, want me to include, like I said, I will probably, I am starting to travel in July, I'm set to travel. We may travel in June, we're not sure. So I will probably start including um, some other things. I'm gonna try and just include everything, just things that I use all the time uh, or, or products that are new to me or that I receive in PR. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.